Hi, my name is Alicia Cota. This is Bio 225, week six. Today's date is 6-12-2018. In today's lab, it is, uh, the lab is Environmental Influence of Microbial Growth, Exercise 2. This is salt tolerance and pH testing. In this lab, I will be um, incubating the S. cerviceri and S. epidermidis culture broth containing differ salt concentrations to determine the approximate um, osmolarity range of each microbe. I've cleared the workplace area um, and gathered all the material I needed. I disinfected the work surface with 10% bleach solution. So um, as you can see, I've labeled all of my tubes. Um, so they will be labeled with uh, corresponding bacteria. I start with a pH of five, pH of seven, no, pH of nine, and then the pH of seven. And then I have the um, staph epidermidis. This is gonna be the one I will be demonstrating. So I've already done the cerviceri. I've inoculated all of my um, pH test tubes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it with the epidermidis. So first I will show how I'm gonna get the pH to uh, five. And um, so what I've been provided with the lab kit is um, pipettes of hydrochloride, hydrochloric acid. So this will um, change the pH in the tube to a pH of 5. What I'm going to do is I will first remove the lid. To sterilize it, I'm going to pass it over the flame. Then I'm just going to add one drop of the hydrochloric acid and then sterilize the lid and recap. Then for my um, pH 9 to get it to adjust to the pH of 9, I'm going to add one drop of the sodium, sodium hydroxide. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and flame the lid to sterilize it. Then I'll be adding one drop of the sodium hydroxide to adjust to the pH of 9. Then with these two, I've already, since I've already done the cerviceri, I don't need them anymore, so I will wrap them in a paper towel and then dispose in the trash. Okay, and then the pH level for my, uh, for pH 7 is already um, adjusted to the pH level of 7. Um, no additional acid or base is needed. Now I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Go ahead and transfer my bacteria into the, the test tubes of the, the pH test tubes. So first I have the pH 5 and then my staph epidermidis. Going to go ahead and sterilize both lids. I have my pipette sitting in alcohol. I'm going to shake that dry. And pass it over the flame to sterilize. And the second one, sterilize. Then I'm going to collect two drops from the active culture of the epidermidis. Transfer the two drops into the pH, pH 5 <clears throat> test tube. Then I'm going to sterilize the lids and recap. Next, I will take my pH 9 of the S. epidermidis uh, pH 9 test tube. Then I'm going to pass them over the flames to sterilize. Make sure my pipette is dry. I will 
collect two drops from the bacteria and transfer it into the pH 9. Then sterilize the lids, recap. Lastly is going to be the pH 7. But again, I'm going to go ahead and sterilize the lids, passing over the flame. Dry my pipette. Then I'm going to collect two drops of my bacteria and drop it into the pH 7. Once again, sterilize the lid and recap. <clears throat> okay, so then now with my six newly um, inoculated pH broths. I will place them in the incubation location for 24 hours. Um, if no growth after 24 hours, I will do an additional 24 hours. Um, once again, for growth, I'll be looking for turbidity. If there is turbidity, then it's a positive test. If the broth is clear, then it's a negative test. So that completes the exercise two of week six lab experiment.